Suns versus the Lakers. Right now, we got the Suns listed as a plus one and a half dog over on Bet US. Lakers minus 120 on the money line. Total sitting at 228. Uh, yeah, let's get to it here. I'll go Lakers. I, I think this is a decent enough spot uh, for them. I like, a, you know, a veteran team at home. I think they might get up for this game. Just judging by the fact of Rui Hachimura, some of his comments, quote, we got to get this one tomorrow and go to Vegas and get the whole bag. Uh, I like hearing that out of some of the role players. And I think Rob Perez tweeted out for the Pacers that they had, what, 10 guys that were making under – Three million dollars a year uh, for the Pacers, so 500k if you're making three million, uh, it's a nice little uh, bonus here. So, uh, and Lakers certainly end of their bench uh, have some guys not pulling in a crazy amount of money. Kind of a, a top-heavy team. Uh, AD is you know knock on wood healthy right now, playing pretty good. 27 14 uh, against the Rockets. Like what I've seen out of him lately, and. Oh, it's early, but so far this Lakers team has matched up pretty good uh, against the Suns, two and zero, one and zero in tournament. So I think short favorite here at home. I'm fine uh, with the Lakers. I do think you see uh, LeBron. There won't be a late scratch for LeBron. I think he, they saw the attention everyone was getting in the uh, in-season tournament game last night, even though competing against Monday Night Football. And they'll be like, "All right, yeah, we're in. This is this is popular. Uh, we'll get we'll we'll try. We'll get into this." So yeah, give me the Lakers laying a point and a half. Shark, how say you, uh, Suns Lakers? This is going to be a tough game for me. I don't disagree, Sean. The number is actually on the Lakers from the way that I scale this. Uh, the previous match at Phoenix was minus three. I usually look at this. It should be about three points going home to road if neutrality is expected. So when you see a minus two, that is showing some strength, albeit small gap strength to the Lakers. And one of the things when I was looking at this game that I thought was really interesting Last year, between these teams, four matchups, obviously, in the division, the home team was 4-0 ATS, and it was all margin double-digit victories, which I do think when you analyze that, you say that is probably a bit of a clustered anomaly because these teams and these rosters shouldn't just be blowing each other out back and forth. And you come to this year, and it has reversed very quickly. The first matchup, 195. No Booker or Beal in that game. We had that actually at plus six on the show. Uh, that was a really ridiculous melt in the fourth quarter for Phoenix, who had a huge lead and did lose by five points. And the last game, Lakers were down, I believe, seven or eight points going to the fourth quarter and did come back in Phoenix 122 to 119. You get a double revenge game for Phoenix. You get a line for the Lakers. Final point, Phoenix is five and six ATS on the road. Lakers are four and six ATS at home. So... In this particular environment, they're right in the same exact spot on their graph. It's just going to be tough for me. As I mentioned, the number is on the Lakers. Revenge on, on Phoenix. I couldn't really get there here tonight. Yeah, again, I think this is kind of like, is this a regular season game or is this a tournament game? I'm thinking the, the Lakers will be playing this as if this is, you know, defend home court. This is a tournament and get that little get up uh, motivation, which as a veteran team, you've seen them on the road. Uh, and when they lose, they really pack it in and you don't see much fight out of them. I think you will see that fight tonight, but again, this is uh, it's a first ever in season tournament. So uh, maybe a learning experience for everyone. Noops, how's your, uh, what's your handle on this Lakers sons? Yeah, it seems I want to play the Lakers here. I, I think that they do take this very seriously. They've talked about it seriously all season, and it's a trip to Vegas. We may have underrated how much NBA players really wanted like a week in Vegas during yeah. the middle of December. So let's think about that and try to remember that next year because NBA players do love Las Vegas. I, I, I digress, however. Um, this game is... You know, you look at that last matchup, and I'll say I think the big difference there is it's not only the fact that, you know, we're in Los Angeles here instead of Phoenix, but the Suns have Bradley Beal that game. Now they have Devin Booker. Devin Booker is, is the real fly in the ointment here for the Lakers. I don't understand how they're going to slow him down. I keep looking at this roster up and down, and again, without Jared Vanderbilt, um, with Without Gabe Vincent, there just really isn't anybody who's going to be able to stay in front of him and cause him a lot of trouble. Uh, Kevin Durant and LeBron always play each other very closely. So then it sort of comes down to what do you expect from Anthony Davis? What do you expect from Austin Reeves? What do you expect from some of these other guys? And 
Uh, that's kind of where the rubber meets the road for me here. I do show a little bit of value in L.A., but it is hard to handicap this Suns team when Booker and Durant are playing together and playing well. They really are fantastic. So uh, more and more I look at this game, the more I like every side and hate every side and hate the over and love the over and hate the under and love the under. So um, I am squarely in the good luck to everyone. I hope somehow you all win your wagers. Yeah, the Booker uh, matchup definitely would be the most concerning. And maybe if you're looking to hedge out Booker uh, over points there would be a, a way to kind of counter it. Because you're right, matchup-wise, I, I don't see it. But again, you could say the same thing for AD. Like, AD playing well, I, I don't see how they're going to slow him down. I'm with you on uh, LeBron and KD kind of canceling each other out to some degree. So uh, looking forward to it. Uh, but yeah, lock me up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Minus one and a half.